All right, guys, it is Saturday, and we are getting ready to head to the Moncton Nationals in Moncton, New Brunswick, which is the biggest outdoor car show event this side of Montreal. So we're going to show you some vehicles. We're going to get a couple of interviews in for you, so stay tuned. Okay, guys, we've made it to Moncton. We're getting ready to uh, walk out of the parking lot where we had to pay for parking. And we're gonna walk into the uh, park and get some footage for you guys, so stay tuned. So this one is for uh, Grant. Does have a manual. So guys, we've got the 65 wagon here, and I've got the owner, what's your name, sir? Henning Fioran. Henning Fioran. Henning Fioran's got the 65 wagon, and it is a beaut. I can tell it's not all stock, just by a couple of little tips with the attack and the manual transmission probably didn't come standard in this. Not on the floor, anyway. Not this one, No. But they did come. Yep. And it looks like it's got some exhaust. Can you tell me a little bit about your car? I found this one out in California when I was on vacation. Same color, same four speed. And I had to have it. Yeah. I drove it back from California, seven cylinders. I got 30 miles to a quart of oil. <laughs> Every hour, two quarts of oil, religiously, yeah. for four and a half days. There you home. go. Yeah, no, it sir is a beautiful car, and uh, these wagons are becoming a little bit more popular these days as what we like to classify on our channel as odd bodies. You don't see too many people going out and souping up a, you know, a Chevelle or a Malibu wagon. Uh, you know, but there yeah, are a lot of there are a lot of them out there. Yep, yep. No, I like your car, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Well, the badging says 327. That's what's still in it. Uh, 350. 350. 327 is the one with the. Seven cylinders. They still oh, okay. have it. Still have. And every year we come here, these guys are always set up. With their pretty little cats.
So as we're walking through the pavilion, I do see up here on stage the infamous Gene Winfield. Let's go see if we can give the wave to us. So it seems as though I can spot these things from a mile away. I'm glad that I found this one because it is clean. I heard a rumor that Steve Darnell was here from Vegas Rat Rods. We're gonna see if we can get a picture. Oh, uh, that looks like your style. Good? Thank yeah. you. Thanks for being happy. Steve, can we get a wave? Hey, what's up? How are you? Thanks. Hi, my name is Dave. Hi, Dave, you too. Right? <laughs> Share the love. I'm just messing around. <laughs> I'm not convinced, but I do like the wheels. Guys, that's going to do it for part one of the Moncton Nationals Car Show 2019. I hope you enjoyed some of the cars that I highlighted. I didn't want to just run through and try and show them all on high speed like I've done in the past, because I think there are a few vehicles out there that really need to be highlighted and deserve a little bit slower showing and talked about a little bit more. So uh, in the next episode, we've got a couple of special guests as well as another interview on a really, really special car. So you're not gonna wanna miss that. Guys, this video as always is sponsored by Sussex Beard Oil who sponsors this beard. And I'm gonna put their link here as well as in the description. I hope that you can go and check them out. The Car Guy and Six Fan Show will be starting up this Thursday evening at seven o'clock central, eight o'clock Eastern, nine local time. It's over on Straight Six Fans channel. I will put a link here as well as it's always the second link in the description box below. Come on over, we talk about cars, we have a lot of fun, and uh, we sit there and we try and help each other grow our channels. Not just Grant and I, but everybody that joins the stream. I'm not gonna jump into anything else other than to say, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. We will see you again in the next video, so stay tuned.